What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to In Verbis Virtus. It is that wonderful time of year where the Steam Summer Sale kicks off and a whole bunch of stuff goes on sale and I get to pick things that look new and exciting and I can't wait to try them out and this is one such game. The biggest draw to me about this is that you cast spells but you actually do it with a microphone. You are required to have a microphone in order to play this game so I can't wait to see how well that works and I guess we'll find out. Do you want to activate additional hints? Yeah, uh, sure. If I decide I don't want them, I can always turn them off later. So we'll just see how it goes. In Verbis Virtus, Indomitus Games presents. In verbis virtus. I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing that right or not, but we'll find out here shortly. I think. They do allow you to play this game either in their language or in English, but they recommend doing it in their language for pronunciation and immersion, which sounds like fun to me, so we're going to use that one. Okay, WSD to move, left stick to walk if we're using a gamepad, which we're not, so. And shift to run. Spacebar to jump, all the usual stuff. Did not go far enough, okay. Come on. Okay, obviously platforming is not the immediate element at play here, but it works all right. Looks pretty cool. The environments are actually pretty nice. Oh, ancient ruins, promising start. So my health in the top right? Not sure what that bar up there is. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. To examine an inscription, look closely at it and press E or the gamepad. Oh, probably like, well, I don't know. Let's see. Does this say anything if I look at it? Woo! That would be a yes. Activate all the signs. I'm just guessing. That's all of them, isn't it? Unless there's one... Looks like there should be one more around here, but it's toppled down, maybe? Yeah, there should be one like right here, but it's maybe under the rubble somewhere or back here. There we go. Press J or the jump. Okay. Uh, the Mahaki language. I spent years studying the idiom known as Mahaki, which means the language of the creative deities, yet I had only scratched the surface. Although I had examined numerous artifacts that reported scriptures in this language, coming from places even very far from each other, I was able to interpret only a few fragments. 
now in the entrance hall of this temple whose existence was not even a certainty, something happened. Now I have a total understanding of the Mahaki. In the past, I did not believe in the legends, but there is power in these written characters. We got magic, y'all! Alright. Whoa! Hey, now. Okay, so it's a little bit glitchy when it starts auto-saving, but it's not the first game to have that problem. What in the hell? Okay. Stand inside the circle of remembrance to save the game. I remember! Whoa, okay. Uh, sure. Can I... Make a new save? Sure, alright. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're good. Is this a map, maybe? Big giant you are here would be nice. Alright, let's just see what's around here. It's pretty. Uh, let's go this way. I don't know why. Ooh, it's dark in here. Plus the, well, minus the glowy purple lights. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Did it... I think it kicked me back to the beginning of the room. Okay. Well, I'm not going that way then. Or that way. Guess I'm going this way. Alright, I'm just going to keep following this pathway. See where it takes me. Can I learn a new light? The light is not enemy of darkness, quite the contrary. It is its complementary, a sister praised too much in the past. The world is based on this lie, the belief that the light necessarily represent the good that is opposed to the shadows and bans them. The balance between the two has always been in favor of blazing bright part of creation, but no one has ever realized the importance of equality between them. Light and shadow are the same entity, the same essence pervading the cosmos. When one of the two prevails, change is inevitable. Nothing remains equal to itself over time, and the metamorphosis does not always lead to the order or chaos. I can feel it, the dazzling power of light coming out of my hand. An absolute sense of grace radiated from my hand after I said Lume Tial for the same first time, and darkness knelt before me. Okay. Is there, like, a pronunciation guide or something? Because I think that would be really handy. Okay. Beyond darkness, one of the first lessons to pilgrims was the evocation of light. This is to remind them that the first of all, the first of all, they must be bearers of truth and illuminate where darkness hides the created with falsity. Lume Tial. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you click on it and it tells me the language. All right. So I'm gonna wait to cast it until after I'm back to somewhere dark because I don't know how long it'll last or what it takes to regenerate my magic or anything like that, so I don't want to waste a whole bunch trying to cast it now. What is this way? Uh, alright. Nothing I can do there. Okay, so Genesis 1. In the beginning there was chaos. With the passing of the eras, chaos aggregated into a single physical mass. Other aeons passed, well, eons passed, and the agglomeration took on a conscience. In each moment of its existence it would scrutinize the entire infinite space, and so for a time it was immense. Then it saw the universe of the birth 
in the universe the birth of something that remotely reminded it of itself. An intelligent life was born, and that was followed by many others, the same but different, all sharing the ability to consciously change the world that surrounded them. So its attention shifted from observing endlessly the birth of powerless pieces of the universe to prying greedily into the lives of the, these beings. But one day, something began... something disturbing happened. These living entities began to worship something undefined that they had never seen, heard, or perceived, which was, in their opinion, omniscient and omnipotent. The names attributed by them were the most diverse, but it was obvious to Chaos that the being was himself, since there was nobody else in the infinite remotely comparable to him. Okay. Whoop. The noises they make when I activate those are a little unsettling at times. I keep looking around for something horrible that's about to kill me. Eh, alright. Moving on, I guess we're going back to the dark place that I couldn't really figure out before. Which I think was back this way, right? Through here. Yes, okay, now I need to remember what it was. It was... Lume Tial. Alright, let's give this a shot. Lume Tial. And nothing happened. Do I need to... Oh, wrong button, I think. Lume Tial. Oh, that is cool. Oh, geez, yeah. No wonder you'd need light to get through this. There's no way you're finding your way through it without it. Okay, go this way. And ha-ha! Ha-ha! Do I then dismiss it with the other button? Yes, okay, so it's left click to pronounce the spell and cast it, right click to dismiss the spell. What in the hell is going on down there? I suppose I'm gonna need to go find out. So far, this is kind of a cool idea. Where's it go? Where's it go? Where's it go? I want to see where this takes me. Ooh, okay, platforming. Don't fall and die. Would you be kind enough to go back down? Yep. Okay. Okay, I need you to kind of come back this way. Made it. Think I'm about to learn another spell. Beam of light. When the light arises, the darkness feels it. Contrary to what you might think, she does not flee, but rather seeks it. When the dazzling sprout flows from your hands, don't you hear someone approaching? Your shoulders do not suddenly become heavy as if something was upon you. The darkness is not afraid. She has no reason to be, because she yearns to meet her sister light. The meat soaked with darkness. Meal? Meat? Meat soaked with darkness can be blinded, but the darkness will never fear. When you make yourself Lord of the Light, remember that the shadows will guide you with the hand, as long as your life does not leave you and you feel them feast on your soul. Aren't you happy? You are our sister too now. What I know just now is that saying Ecto Lume is enough to cast a ray of pure light from my hand. As a hint on how its energy can be used, the inscriptions stated enigmatically that the right color feeds the right mechanism. So go find the blue ones and do stuff with it. Ectolume. Okay. Uh, and then if it's anything like the other one was, there will be more words on the other side. Sure enough. Learning the enchantment of the light ray was one of the highest aspirations of the young pilgrims. The most vain among them showed off their skills by bouncing the light and creating intricate compositions. The most arrogant used it to blind the neighbor. The wisest instead used it only when necessary because they respected its power. 
to be able to energize and animate powerless things on which was applied the seal of light. So, probably like those things. Ecto Lume! It's doing something. I don't know what. Oh, wait, there it goes. It merges until it does that. And then this side. I think it's creating a pathway for me. Sure is. Oh, there is a third one, though. Okay. Ectolume. This actually does a pretty good job of figuring out what I'm speaking. All right. Um. So Ectolume creates the beam. Ectolume. Oh, Jesus. Okay, they murdered the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm hoping that it uh, lets me keep up my, my save game. Or the quick save. It should spawn from the quick save. Oh, man, really? That kind of sucks. Well, maybe not. As long as I have my same spells, I should be able to get back there pretty quick. Do I still have all the spells? No. Okay, that sucks. All right. Um, okay, I will be back in just a little bit, guys. I'm going to go get my spells back, and then I will pick the episode up as soon as I've done that. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I am back. I have the spells. As it turns out, I'm actually uh, a little foolish. There's a save point right over at the entrance to this area that I must have just not looked at the ground enough to see the circle. So we're not that far back. And it only actually took me, I don't know, two, three minutes to get here, so... Oops. Yeah, see? Right here. Well, now that I'm here, I may as well just save again and... Make sure that I don't lose it. So we'll do another new one, and we'll just call it... Do, 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 IT2. Okay. No, no, no. Thank you. Okay, and then hop over these. And now that I know it's coming... Ectolume! I can't see. Uh, Lume Tial. Ectolume. Nope. Ectolume. Now that I can see them, I don't want them to be bothering me. What in the hell? Did I kill them off, or are they, like, afraid of the beam of light? They're not here this time. Huh. All right. Well, so be it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the X must be a marks the spot kind of a thing. So that was the giant circular area from where we learned the light spell. The eyeball must represent the dark area where we couldn't get through because we couldn't see. This is where we got the other light spell. Uh, this is the side passage where we just learned that other thing from the book. And this is a gate that's marked off, so we've got this room, and then a few more along a pathway that takes us back the way we came from. Okay, cool. We've got two spells right now. Ecto Lume and Lume Tial. One provides light, one provides a beam. Oh my goodness. Lume T... No, Ecto Lume. No, I see I went too far in pronouncing the first one, so it didn't work. Okay. 
Ectolume. Nope. Okay, I thought this might like reflect off of that because it's all shimmery and shiny. So, do I want to just actually jump across? Because, to be honest, that looks like death. Maybe there's something I can aim at and... Actually, I'm betting those probably need to be... I need to do something to make those form a bridge. I don't know what yet, but something. Ectolume. <laughs> no? Well, I guess that's not it. Alright, let's keep looking around and try not to fall off and die a horrible death. What other things are there for me to interact with? Can I... No. Ectolume. Well, I just got some little achievement called Small Fry. I don't think I can do anything with those, though. The little light orbs. Is there anything around here I can interact with? At the moment, I'm thinking no. Hmm. Oh, go away. Ectolume. Nah, it doesn't really look like the same light crystals. We're looking for something that we can use. But I'm not having a whole lot of luck finding the right one. There's got to be something really obvious that I'm just not quite seeing here. Ectolume. Nope. Burn a few more of these things. Let's try the other spell. Lume Tial. Mm, no. Nope. All right. I'm out of ideas. So let's see what just happens if we jump onto these. All right. So I can jump onto them. Question being, did they take me somewhere I want to go? Or do these eventually just... Nope, eventually you just quote-unquote die and you kind of fall off. Ectolume. Yep, there's little murdery things and I don't want to get killed by them this time, so... Oh, those are health. Fantastic. Okay. I like health. Well, alright. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. And I think my computer needs to restart. So, I'm going to go back a little ways. I'm going to hit that nice little save circle that was over there. And then I'm going to look around for a little bit more and figure out what to do off camera. So we'll come back when we actually know what we're doing and where we're going. But I want to thank you all for tuning in. I'm extremely excited to play this. So far, I'm actually very impressed. I was kind of worried uh, with the way that the microphone was going to be used. I was kind of concerned that it wouldn't do a great job of figuring out what spell I'm casting or work right. But as it turns out, it's actually been phenomenal. It's gotten it 100% right every time I've done it. It's cast the right spell. There was one moment where I was like, ah, crap, I think it's doing the wrong thing. It's like picking up on the wrong word, and then I realized I was casting the wrong spell. So, no, it was doing exactly what it's supposed to, which is fantastic. So, if you guys are enjoying it, please make sure that you hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment down in the section below. And as always, I will see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.